Victoria joins more than 130 film-friendly Texas communities. The Texas Film Commission in the Office of the Governor's Economic Development and Tourism Division has attracted $1.5 billion in local spending and 154,000 production jobs across the state from 2007 to 2019. New Center 25's Catalina Asrain has more about the local impact. Governor Greg Abbott put out a press release this week announcing Victoria's new designation as a film-friendly city. It's a new designation that could bring not only more film productions in Victoria, but also more jobs. Anthony Padoni, executive director for Film Exchange, a local film collaborative, says he feels Victoria has been film-friendly the last couple years, but that the new designation will help. I mean, yeah, for, for my film specifically in American in Texas, it was great to, you know, kind of do an autobiographical story and get to come back to the place where we actually ran the streets and, you know, acted crazy and to just be able to recreate those moments was, you know, amazing. And, you know, the, the uh, ability to just, you know, with T. Michael O'Connor, you know, letting us use, uh, you know, the jails and the, getting to use, uh, you know, DTAR Hospital and property from University of Houston, like all of those those organizations will be key, you know, to continuing, uh, you know, doing larger films and more films. Like these are these are locations that are tough to come by, and and Victoria just kind of has this timeless feel. Padoni operates the Rosebud Records Grill and Theater in downtown Victoria, and he also organizes an annual film festival. This spring will be its ninth year running. April 16th through the 19th, and then we're going to kind of do a, a rerun of all the best films the following weekend during Art Car and Jam Fest at Rosebud. So it's uh, downtown Victoria to be in the ninth year, and there'll be, you know, 30, 40 films, and 10, 15 directors come to town, and actors and actresses and producers, and so come down and network and figure out what it's all about. For more information about what this designation means for Victoria and info about the upcoming film festival, visit our website, crossroadstoday.com. In Victoria, I'm Carolina Astrain for your hometown news.